Hi, it's Emma Nago. So I'm doing this makeup look today and this is inspired by Kim Kardashian. I got requested to do a Kim Kardashian look where I put my hair in a middle parting. So I just Google search Kim Kardashian middle parting. So I found a lot of pictures with Kim where she had a middle parting but um, the one I liked the best was where she was wearing big earrings and she had her hair slicked um, in a sleek middle part and then she had really beautiful but still quite neutral but of course still Kim Kardashian glamorous makeup on so that is the look I chose to recreate so as you guys can see it's super glamorous and it's super like full-on glamour makeup so I'm just going to come in close so you can hopefully see it a little better so it's kind of a classic Kim Kardashian look with the full-on highlighted and contoured skin um, the natural eyebrows, um, the kind of smoky but neutral eyes with super long lashes and then a nudie pinky lip. So I really hope you guys like it. If you want to see the picture that I used for inspiration, I will link it down below. Don't forget to watch this video in high definition and give me a thumbs up if you like this. So I will show you the complete um, start to finish makeup. So yeah, anyways, let's just get right on to the tutorial. Okay, so first step is to apply some primer. I'm going to use Benefit Professional. I warm it up between my fingers and then I just go in and apply it. So for foundation, I want to use something that's pretty full coverage because that's the type of foundation Kim uses. So I'm going to go for my Rimmel Stay Matte Foundation. I use the color Ivory. So I just go ahead and dab this all over and I also take a bit down my neck and then I go in with my H&M makeup sponge and my MAC fix plus and I just dab this out because I find that using a sponge and a dabbing motion just gives me the most full coverage and just because this is a Kim Kardashian look I'm just going to go in with a little more foundation and I'm just going in wherever I have some acne and acne scars and of course I blend that out as well so now we are going to do the infamous um, Kim Kardashian highlight. So you want to take any foundation or concealer that's lighter than your skin tone. I'm going to use this BB cream from Born Pretty Store and I'm just going to swatch it. So as you can see this is a very light color so it's perfect. And I'm going to grab my e.l.f. concealer brush to apply my BB cream with. So Kim always has a really bright under eye so you want to go in the triangular shape um, underneath your eyes. So just like that. So now I have it underneath both my eyes. So now you can go in and highlight the center of your face. So right on the chin and cupid's bow and forehead and down the nose. And then you just blend this out exactly like how I did the foundation. So you want to go in and set all the highlighted areas with a powder that's lighter than your skin tone. I'm going to use this white powder from Born Pretty Store. And I'm also going to use my e.l.f. Studio Complexion Brush. So for the rest of my face I'm going to use a regular skin toned powder so I'm just using this one from Born Pretty Store together with this Neen Shore Black Diamond Kabuki brush. So before I do anything else I'm just going to grab a, a Q-tip and just remove the foundation and powder on my lips. And then I'm just going to use some good old Vaseline to hydrate my lips. So now I'm going to use my e.l.f. Studio Contouring Blush and Bronzing Powder in St. Lucia to contour with. And I'm going to use my e.l.f. Angled Blush Brush. So I'm just going to define my cheekbones to make them pop like Kim's.
And it's okay if you do a little bit of a heavier contour than you would normally do because Kim's contour is quite intense. And to contour my nose, I'm going to use my e.l.f. fan brush. And I'm just going to blend out the contour a tiny bit. So Kim has a really nice uh, pink blush on, so that's what I'm going to do as well. So I'm going to take my 10-piece blush palette from BH Cosmetics. And with my e.l.f. Studio Blush Brush, I'm going to take this pink color down here. And I'm just applying this on the apple of my cheek and blending backwards. So for my highlight, I'm going to grab my No Makeup Makeup Palette from Too Faced. And I'm going to use the bronzer. And I'm just going to use my Born Pretty Star Fan Brush. And I'm just going to highlight my cheekbones. And I'm also going to highlight my nose and my cupid's bow. So on the lips, Kim had kind of a pinkish, nude, really glossy color. So I'm going to start out by lining my lips with um, Subculture. And I just line and fill in my lips. So for lipstick, I'm going to use Max Viva Glam Gaga. And it's just a baby pink color. And I'm not going to apply too much of this. Because I still want that uh, nude color to show through. And then because Kim had super glossy lips, I'm going to apply some Viva Glam Gaga lip gloss on top. And you could use any baby pink lip gloss. So I'm just going to do my brows. So I just brushed them through with my spoolie from Born Pretty Store. And I'm going to use my Rimmel Professional Eyebrow Pencil. And if you want brows like Kim's, you should go for something full and natural looking. Okay, so to prime for my eyeshadows, I am of course going to use my e.l.f. Essentials Eyelid Primer in the color Sheer. So I'm going to grab my Urban Decay Naked 3 eyeshadow brush. And I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. 100 Marble Eyeshadow Palette. And you want to take any color that's quite close to your skin tone. For me, that would be this one up here. And we're just going to pat this on our eyelids. Then you want to take a matte brownie orangey color, like this one. And I'm going to apply this in my crease. So for the brow bone, we are going to take this matte yellow, very light color. God damn it, my palette broke. Ooh. Okay, well, I just took that top thingy off. And now I'm just going to grab this shimmery light yellow color. And this is just going right underneath the arch of the eyebrow. And just blend it out with your finger. So I'm just going to grab this shimmery brown color. And I'm just using this in the outer corner just to deepen. So just take any flat eyeshadow brush or a small pencil brush. And go in with the same brown and just go ahead and apply this underneath your lower lashes. And then I'm going to take one of the small sponge tip applicators that comes with the palette. And I'm going to take this um, light white color up here. And I'm going to apply this around the tear duct just to brighten. So then I'm going to grab my Essence Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. And you just want to um, do a very thin line with a little wing at the end. So I have my liquid eyeliner on, so I'm just going to apply some mascara. So for my upper lashes, I'm going to use my YSL Faux Sils um, Waterproof Mascara. And for my lower lashes, I'm going to use my Born Pretty Store Super Black Long Lash Mascara. And of course, I'm going to curl first with my Shu Uemura Eyelash Curler. I remember back in the day when I couldn't pronounce... Um, Shu Uemura. And that just goes to show that practice do really make perfect. And this mascara is really on its last run because it's starting to be so dry. So for my lower lashes, I'm also going to use my Born Pretty Store Lash um, no, Mascara Applicator. 
So because Kim has those really long lower lashes, I'm going to apply another coat to my lower lashes. Okay, so with my mascara on, there's only one thing left to do, and that is to apply some falsies. So I am going to use my beloved Adele Wispies. And you want to use anything that looks quite natural, but is very long. So I think I accidentally said that that was the last step with the lashes, but it's not. The last step is to apply some um, black pencil eyeliner to the waterlines. So this is the final Kim Kardashian inspired makeup look. So I just put on my big gold LA earrings. Um, Kim is wearing earrings in the picture, but I don't have anything that looks like them, so I just decided to just go with any big earring. So yeah, that's basically it. So if you like this video, of course, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And by the way, you guys, if you haven't entered my New Year giveaway, then a link to that will be down in the down bar. And other than that, that is all for this video, so I will talk to you guys later, so take care. And bye-bye.